today's vlog is a love story and this love story happens to be mine. I fell in love in 1982 with a guy named Mike and a team from the University of North Carolina Tar Heels at Chapel Hill. And 40 years later, it's still my love story. Mother and I on our way to Chapel Hill! Ah! On the way! Woohoo! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> like a good amusement ride. See, love makes you do crazy things sometimes, like stand in the rain for 30 minutes in front of a locked door just to get in early and get to your seat. Just to see the opposing team. Because you know I'm on scouting duty. Love makes you stand on the sidelines. While they're doing nothing but stretching. Or running drills. Screaming their names. In hopes that they will acknowledge your presence. Long enough to capture a memory. With a click of your camera. A photo for life. Or perhaps one of them will come over to you and say, I'm glad you made it tonight. And that would be my Armando. Oh. Uh -huh. 
oh it's pretty dark in here but mommy and i are on the way back to the car oh unc y'all scared me tonight now we're gonna have to um talk about a few things because we are coming out just a little bit too slow for the comfort of the people morning people mother and i are on our way to the girls basketball game i'll be back So mom and I are just enjoying ourselves at halftime. And then this happens. The man himself walks over to us and says, two games in a row. Thank you ladies for coming. And thank you for all of your Carolina basketball songs. And then this happens. This lovely lady to the right of my mom, she told them, I think they need to sit on the floor. So we were upgraded to floor seats for the second half. So mom is having an absolute blast meeting and speaking with the players. And me, I'm just behind the camera, you know, just chilling. But we had a wonderful experience. And see, that lady right there, she was responsible for getting us those floor seats for the second half. Coach Banghart came over and met with mom and I after the game as well. And then Eva asked me, Pastor Jay, would you be willing to pray for us? Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you for the opportunity to cover you with prayers. And so after the game, we went to one of our favorite spots <laughs> for a little light lunch.
So I have the same routine before leaving Chapel Hill. I pack my things up, hop in my car, and come down to the Dean Dome. I walk down Vince Carter Way, and I immediately find Michael's name first. Then I look at all of the names who have brought me joy, a little bit of tears, but mostly joy over these 40 years. Then I drive down Franklin Street. I imagine rushing the street after a big win and historic victories. High-fiving strangers that feel what I feel and love who I love. I imagine hearing the cheers and seeing the tears. Watching people jump over big fires and having a flashback <laughs> that if I were a little younger, I would do the same. This place, this place, I call my second home. To all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back and one big hug from me to you. Thank you so much for stopping by for this North Carolina Tar Heel vlog. And if you're new here, welcome, but don't, I said don't, be a stranger. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell twice so you never miss an upload from the priceless Pearl Life. Videos are posted on Tuesdays and Fridays, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and a few more sprinkle in between for your viewing pleasure. I love sharing my love of home decor, cooking, baking, vlogs, and shopping hauls. And if these are things that interest you, go ahead and become a part of my growing YouTube family. And until next time, you know what I say. Stay safe, stay blessed, and remember, you are absolutely priceless. I already look forward to seeing you in my next video.